Today, let's talk about a travel bag. What is up you guys? Hope you're having a great day so far. Uh, today, it is a video that I have wanted to make for ooh, since the end of the summer. Uh, and again, I just haven't been able to get on. I've been busy at work, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just kind of getting back into my channel right now. And so this is actually something I wanted to, this bag that I uh, want to talk about today. Uh, I used all summer long. Uh, this summer I actually took a almost a two month trip to Florida. I left in July, uh, about middle of July, didn't come home till the end of August. I went and visited friends in Tennessee, visited friends in Orlando, went to Disney, did a whole bunch of stuff that I have not done since COVID. So last summer, or the summer we just had, uh, was basically kind of like, I would want to call it my revenge travel, but that's basically what it was. I got to go, got to uh, just see everything and visit people that I haven't seen for a long time. And along the way, I uh, before I actually left to go on this trip in the summer, I picked up this bag at on the uh, Coach Outlet website. Uh, this is called the West Pack in signature canvas, and this one has the varsity stripe. Sometimes they don't, but this is the West Pack uh, in signature canvas uh, cross body bag. I didn't even think about even purchasing this probably about until a week before I left. And then I saw some reviews online about it. And then I said like, man, I, maybe this is something I need to try out for the summer because I'm gonna be going away. And I was kind of, was doing some solo traveling. So I thought maybe I need something just to hold on to all my incidentals uh, as I'm going throughout the day, just so I don't need to rely on other people and all that kind of stuff to hold on to them. Or I didn't want to use all the pockets in my shorts and that kind of stuff. So I purchased this bag. Uh, we're gonna talk about the features of it and why it basically was my my favorite companion uh, all summer long. Okay, so the reason I went and got this bag was that uh, I wanted this one specifically just because I saw a few reviews uh, on the Coach Outlet website. Uh, for us in Canada, I believe this one was on for about $210 Canadian uh, on the Coach Outlet website. Uh, however, I think think, and I have to double check, when I purchased it, I believe there was actually a 30% off this bag, uh, like a summer special or something like that. So it like dropped the bag to about $170 or so. So I didn't, I don't, I know I didn't pay more than 200 bucks for it. And now after the summer, I definitely would look back and go, yes, yes, I probably would have paid about 200 bucks for this just for the convenience. Uh, so again, kind of the cost wise, but you are definitely paying for what you get. So as you can see here, you've got the canvas print, uh, the coach, you can see the little C's and stuff like that. Now there is this, what's called a varsity stripe. It's kind of a stripe they put down on some of their products from this collection. Uh, during the time, this was kind of the only thing they had, uh, that I could, that I could purchase with this kind of crossbody bag. Uh, so this is kind of what I went with some of them. Uh, if you look on the coach outlet right now, like I did before I made this video, there's ones without it. It's just the canvas print, uh, along the sides is a pebble leather, uh, pebble calf leather, uh, very sturdy. Uh, anytime I got caught in the rain in Florida. Uh, it basically, I'm not gonna say it was waterproof, but it definitely helped with the resistance factor. Um, as you can see at the very top, it is dual zip, heavy duty zippers, not going to lie. Um, they're still getting used to it, so they're tough, uh, but all the way down. Uh, so double up, double uh, zippers there. And then on the front, you've got this pocket here. This is what I actually kept for my wallet. Okay, I'm gonna actually show you in just a few minutes. This is what I actually kept for my wallet, uh, just so I could stick it inside there. Uh, and I'll get into the features a little bit, but I wanna talk about the back first of all. The back here, just a nice cushion. This rested so well on my back. The strap, totally adjustable. You could adjust as you were walking along. Uh, if it was too loose, you could just tighten it up. But what I really loved about this was that you could decide using this hook on the strap, you could decide which side that you were gonna choose for your shoulder. So I have it going over my, I always have to think about this. <laughs> I hate to have to think about this, but I usually have it going over my left shoulder. And the nice thing about this is that no matter what, the strap actually can't get tangled up because it turns. 
right? So, right, so you just hold it up. Basically, uh, if I was in Disney World, like I was, I would take this on a ride, put it around my leg so I wouldn't lose it, and then as soon as I got the ride, just basically pick it up, swing it around, put it across my chest, and it was good to go. So, and then you could just walk off the ride, and that was it. Now sometimes, I would actually have it around the back. Uh, what I liked about it was that the zippers were heavy enough so I know somebody couldn't just come up and take it off. Um, because of the top here and how well it stitched on, I knew that somebody couldn't come grab it or anything like this. Like I was gonna know if somebody was gonna come after me with this. Um, how I like to wear it is around here. By the way, the strap, super soft. Never, I usually wear shirts like this uh, or I wear t-shirts, but sometimes it would just be in the neck and honestly it would either rest on my shirt like that, um, or to be honest, but I never got red marks, nothing ever cut into it. The strap is super, super soft. So again, if you're thinking about a strap uh, or a crossbody strap, that's a huge and important thing. This one's super soft. Uh, you are never gonna get any cuts or even red marks from it. Now, like I was mentioning before, most of the time I would just kind of carry it like this. However, there are times when you maybe get into a group of people, like you're in a lineup, um, or you're maybe just kind of walking along and kind of want to make sure that you're a little bit more safe about your, uh, your belongings and stuff like that. So sometimes I would just carry it like this with nobody around. If I kind of felt like I was getting into a situation where I was going to be in a lineup or kind of with a bigger group of people, it was just the most easiest thing just to pull this forward. And honestly, I would hold it like this quite a bit, uh, quite a bit. What was nice though, is that most of the time, and I didn't do it so much, sorry, I should've done this for the video. I had the zippers up here. So at any time I could basically be in line, I could jump into here, I could put stuff away before I got onto a ride. Um, or if I was going somewhere, I could just easily tuck some stuff in. If I needed my wallet for access, I just kind of grabbed it and I zipped it out, put it back in, but I kept it here. So it was just nice to be able to turn. Then once I was done and felt secure again, I could just turn it right back and it stayed in place. I did not have to do any real big adjustments. Now, yes, as you're walking along, sometimes things slide down and that just is what happens with crossbody bags. But it was super easy just to keep it up there, just easy and it didn't really fall all that much. But what was nice is that in those times that you needed it, it was just easy to go like this, keep it secure. Uh, and so I knew I had all my stuff just kind of right across my chest. Uh, so I didn't have to worry about safety or anything like that. Now. Inside, I've unzipped it right now. So inside you have a really big spacious pocket. Like this is like kind of the main compartment. Um, I was able to throw stuff in there. I don't have my umbrella and all that kind of stuff. I usually would have my umbrella. I would have a poncho. I would stick those in there. Absolutely no problem. I also carry around, now again, I do not, <laughs> I don't always use the plastic bottles, but sometimes we have to. It was just easier sometimes for me to grab a plastic bottle, refill as I went around the theme parks and stuff like that. Easily would tuck in there. A reusable bottle, I would say up to about ooh, one liter should fit in here with absolutely no problem whatsoever. So again, having your water with you, really easy. The other thing is, is that the deep, it's, pretty, it's very deep. So it goes right to the bottom. There's no real cushion at the bottom. So I wouldn't be keeping like an iPad or anything in there just in case it dropped. There's not a huge amount of padding on the bottom against leather, but there's not a huge, a huge amount of padding on the bottom. So if you drop it, it's not so secure. Now, the other thing is, is that in here, you also have a second pocket. So if you're looking for some place to put some extra incidentals or something, you're kind of like, um, you know, just maybe toiletries or something like that that you need, you can separate that from the main compartment. And then just like that, easy, you zip it up and it's good to go, okay? Now, this front pocket again, most of the time, I can actually show you because I got my wallet here. Most of the time what I did, just because in case I needed my wallet to be handy for something, I just took my wallet, okay, just like this. It's a little bit thicker, but it was easy. That's all I did was just kind of like stuff it in there. If I can show it. So stuff it in just like that. A little bit of room for other stuff. I've actually stuck my passport in there as well, but just another easy pocket, zip it up, and it is totally, totally secure. All right, um, some other things just to kind of show you. Uh, for me, 
for the incidental stuff. I mean, I was able to throw in a little bit of cologne and stuff if I need a little top up throughout the day. Got some hand cream as I needed it. Um, I mean, easy throw in some hand sanitizer, uh, some other stuff. Got some stuff from Sage there, some Tylenol if you need a headache or anything like that. Um, I had sunscreen. I was able to load up what I needed throughout the day um, for in this bag. Now, would it be something that I would take hiking or anything like that not really all right it's mostly just for like daily use kind of around the town uh, or going to like a theme park or something like that um, there's other bags uh, that I'm going to talk about in some other videos that are perfect for hiking and all that kind of stuff this one I could get the feeling that it would get kind of rather hot um, on the back I never really found that the back got hot especially in the Florida Sun or anything like that but there were times where I would kind of take it off and there would be kind of sweat dripping down my back. Now, again, I went to Florida in August. If you've ever been to Florida in August, you know that the heat can be pretty, pretty intense. So again, this was just kind of a nice thing to have for daily stuff. You're able to just pack up what you needed. Nice thing though that I enjoyed was that um, if I bought something, like if I bought a t-shirt or I bought uh, a souvenir of some kind that was rather small, I was able to have enough space that I could just tuck it in there and then just just zip it up, zip it up, throw it on my back, and I didn't have to worry about carrying around any bags or anything like that. So that part was super, super sweet. Uh, and uh, yeah, that was probably one of the main reasons I had this bag, was that just to be able to keep everything on me, I'm just gonna try to turn around the back, uh, just to keep everything on me and my person uh, just as I needed it throughout the day. All right, so the one thing, just one thing that I could see as kind of a drawback. So when uh, you have a bag like this, this does not really fold up super well. And I've still got some stuff in there, it's not even empty, um, into like a carry-on bag or even into a backpack. So what I found is that because I was using this for daily use and I was also carrying my backpack to have on the airplane, I also had my duffel bag that I was taking on as carry-on for the, for the airplane as well. This took up quite a bit of a majority of my backpack. Now there are other crossbody bags, travel bags, uh, daily travel bags and stuff like that. Um, that really scrunched down. Uh, one that comes to mind is the Bellroy Light Sling, which I purchased and I've been using actually for the last little bit. I'm gonna do a video on that in a little while. Um, but it like scrunches itself down so that you can just shove it in a backpack and then pull it out and use it as you need to. This with the leather and it being pretty thick, um, it's pretty tough to like maneuver and to put into a bag unless you're gonna like lie it into there, into like a, a suitcase or something and have it flat. For me though, we didn't check any bags. Uh, what I did is I just took a carry-on. So I had to really kind of use the space in my carry-on to kind of fit this in there because I had a lot of stuff to pack. So that's kind of the one thing is that with this bag, uh, you do, if you want to put it somewhere, kind of if you're not using it for daily use, um, it can be kind of cumbersome uh, to use that one. So really guys, that's it. But this is a video I kind of wanted to, I know it might not be super long, it might not be like super intricate or anything like that, but basically this bag right here saved me throughout the summer uh, just for keeping all my incidentals and everything I needed as I was going throughout the day. All right, uh, so that's why I really liked it. It was kind of, it was fashionable, you know, coach luxury brand type stuff. Um, and so I wanted to make sure I had a heavy duty bag that was gonna last me throughout the summer and not fall apart and something that was very sturdy. I mean, this is another one that I would take with me uh, if I was going back down to Florida. Um, I also have a couple of other travel bags I'm gonna try if we get down to Florida in the next little bit. So that is it, you guys. This, again, a video that I kind of wanted to make for a while. Uh, just a great bag. I really have enjoyed this. I'll be honest, I haven't used it a ton since the summer. Uh, most of the time, because I've just been around here and stuff like that. No real reason to use a massive, or not massive, but just a bigger crossbody. I mean, I could if I, if I could, I could if I wanted to, but mostly I've been just using this for travel. So summer months, this saved me big time. Highly recommend recommend Coach Outlet website. Uh, again, this is the Westpac in signature canvas uh, with the Varsity Stripe. And again, there's other versions of that on the Coach Outlet website that are different uh, configurations, kind of around the same amount, sometimes have with different pockets and stuff like that, um, but highly recommend checking them out. So have a great rest of your day. We will talk to you soon in the next video.
Have a good one.